Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Direct benefits transfer in the place of subsidized food. We need a choice-based approach in the public distribution system. Why DBT in PDS is challenging? What are the key findings from pilot schemes of DBT in lieu of PDS in three union territories? What is the significance of choice-based approach in PDS? GS Paper 2 – Government Policies and Schemes In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from HindustanTimes.com Dated October 4, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pen drive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? The public distribution system in India's flagship food security program but also suffers from well-known inefficiencies. Even official government estimates suggest that a large share of public spending on the PDS does not reach intended beneficiaries. Thus, the idea of direct benefits transfer in lieu of the subsidized food has emerged as a leading policy alternative. The Prime Minister himself suggests that the PDS should be replaced by DPT. Why DBT in PDS is challenging? DBT also possess considerable risks. Poor implementation may make beneficiaries worse off. The value of transfers may be inadequate. And access to banks or ATMs and markets may vary across locations. Recipients may also use cash for non-food items, which might be their preference but would reduce the impact on policy goals for food security and nutrition. What are the key findings from pilot schemes of DBT in lieu of PDS in three union territories? The main findings were as follows. First, DBT implementation improved over time but remained a challenge even 18 months into the rollout. As per official records, over 99% of transfers were made successfully, but in household service, around 20% of respondents said that they had not received DBT for the corresponding time periods. This gap was due to money going to a different account than those being actively used, as well as passbooks not being updated. Thus, while we found no evidence of a leakage in the DBT, a considerable number of users had difficulties in accessing it. Second, cost varied across beneficiaries. For those using ATMs, it cost less to access cash and buy grains from the market than to collecting PDS rations. However, for beneficiaries who had to use a bank branch, it cost more to access cash and markets than the PDS. Beneficiaries spent more than the DBT amount received to buy the same amount of grain in the market but purchased right quality grains. Finally, beneficiary preference for DBT over in-kind PDS benefits evolved over time. In our first round of service, two-thirds of the beneficiaries preferred PDS to DBT. However, in our third round, this had reversed with two-thirds now preferring DBT to PDS. What is the significance of choice-based approach in the PDS? The choice-based approach reflects the reality that the people in different places and times want different things and improves beneficiaries' welfare by expanding their options. It also reduces the political and ethical risks of the reform. Finally, the availability of DBT may even help improve the existing PDS as it will have to deliver value for people to continue to choose it over DBT. The economic viability of PDS, dealers can be improved by allowing them to stock other products too, so that PDS is not their only source of revenue. 